Hello guys, welcome to today's show. My name is Nachos and you're on JFL TV, the home of football. So if today is the first time we see our program, for here we will bring you the latest Arsenal news updates as they drop all over the world. So for now, we'll start with today's news. Um, Arsenal and Man City don't reach a £30 million agreement and this one according to Fabrizio Romano where they let us know say they don't get that agreement so the only thing will remain now now for Arsenal to conclude the personal terms with Zinchenko you get this is the one sign Zinchenko from Man City so would they have to say before Man City they talk in at £35 million pounds, they won't collect £35 million pounds, but I don't know how it do that's what they do have. We are going to reduce the fee, so okay, 30 million pounds. And as they no waste time, like that, they bring it to his own. They don't agree the fee initially in a verbal contract. But now, Fabrizio can let us know so they don't agree the 30 million pounds. So everything just get left with Zinchenko making accept personal terms. If he don't accept that one, then everything will go rosy. So more just watch as things they do. At the same time, our monetary spiritual and called BILD will be one kind of media organization for Germany. The rock commerce icon they let us know say as now they highly, highly interested in signing Leroy Sani from Bayern Munich. I know say this guy said formerly in play for Manchester City. So it with that as if they get this good relationship. The same relationship we are that gets with Gabriel Yusuf, Jenko, and the rest of Man City squad. Nine get with the guys. Get, so now it don't reason the guy say make it guy come join us and the guy said wants playing time because now they say money don't go for Bayern Gnabry don't sign new contract so Everly that starting level will be money Gnabry then we never know who they will put for nine because then said we need to buy another number nine because next season is going to be very difficult for Bayern somehow because Lewandowski don't come out for Bayern Munich if they on in way to Barcelona the Bayern hierarchy don't accept the deal don't accept the fee from Baka so if you be Leroy Sane he said we will not say ah, she na Gnabry and uh, Mani one bench. Don't be bench anybody. Now go there for Benjamin. Now everybody, the fine game time. Don't forget that World Cup still they come. Don't forget they will suspend all the leagues and everybody will bring themselves available for the national team. And if you're not playing regularly, how will your national team invite you? So that is why the guy will come. I mean, I don't also forget if Fabrizio Romano tell us before say Arsenal they secretly look for a winger. Whether not Leroy Sane be the winger, whether they secretly look for Anivano. Anyhow, they go. I'm going to let you know. So, yesterday, for the friend, the way Arsenal play against Everton, Arsenal defeat Everton 2 0. And for that match, I watched the first half because the match at 12 midnight, then play them. I watched the first half, so I don't get choice now. That's go sleep, so that I go fit to do my shoots today. So, for that first half, Arsenal scored two goals. The Real Suits now bust the first goal. The guy opened nets. They all throw corner. Now, Cedric throw the corner. It didn't land for a leg. He wipe and enter the roof. One oh, then the guy still give another assist. We book out Saka can score. So overall, when I watch that that first half, I know what the second half. Because people call it tell me say the second half, you know, to make sense. You get see after after I do some changes, everybody call the paper us like it wasn't really spectacular. But that first half, it makes sense because the first half, I like the first level. You get apart from Cedric and maybe Tavares. Now then be like the weak points really for that first level and maybe Matt Stoner. If you see Ramsey will play, maybe to me also and see any play ahead that first uh, eleven if we're very strong because we are having a Martinelli Ode that sack up behind a Gabriel Jesus and I enjoy their movements get and Gabriel Jesus said we had very very nice movements the guy played very well I just battled with the guy the guy has scored like three goals now for preseason see this guy if he scored like 30 goals now basically see if you give him a chance go boss I'm like give him a chance when he first miss when Everton player do mistake for the flank they can't pass the ball like come inside he can kind of wipe shots he gets so Everton keep back on like so now only that place I feel say ah this guy must score this thing you know. but it is what it is yeah. overall let's still try um, for the match I want to take see the way we William Saliba take play because me I don't go use this one match the Georgia because the season see the come over the first half I felt he did well did quite all right yes and Dominic Abed Louis they will give him some kind problems yeah but you see they okay even my son said let's see try at least they kept the clean sheets in the first half so i don't really see the second half now after i'll go check youtube man just check highlights man see some pocket of things we happen for that second half but overall i want to take see saliba after the match so they kind of ask ateta say i take see saliba and everything so but i can't say we have saliba had a very good game Say so like the way the guy they play say that abroad the guy don't go for loan he don't prepare the guy ahead of the things when he face Another thing we say, as Saliba day now, 
you know they guarantee anybody any first team shares to them. Because you know, since we don't hear all this speculation, what they happen for media, we say about the talks, say if you don't give a shola, first share, things will come out, all those things. Say no, no, no. Say no, they give anybody any first shares. Nobody get first share guarantee. The Coco be say if you play very well, they will leave you for that place. And that is how it's supposed to be. So now they, they try to prevent Saliba to face the EPL. Even that said, no, say EPL is a different kettle of fish. They, they are trying to prepare him to integrate him properly into the EPL because EPL is a baptism of fire. Forget this preseason. Where match starts, and that I will not say Kakino be led that. I might even get another argument. So when they argue, you say Lisandro Martinez versus Zinchenko. So you get what the people don't understand for these two deals. Say. You see Lisandro Martinez in good on his own way, but he no day used to EPL. Let me give you a good example. Look at Rafael Varin of Real Madrid. Varin was very, very good at the back with Sergio Ramos. Very solid. In come Manchester United, what's it happen? Flop, I mean, the guy flop, you get. Not because it's not good enough, but because the league is different. There are different cartoons of fish. That's the thing why they always talk about Saliba. I say, forget saying we young player of the Kini for France. So, this place different. This place is different. So, you see, Alexandro Martinez now, what they talk about. He never acclimatized to the league. Had, what's the guarantee that he's not going to flop? Compared to a Zinchenko who you already know is good for the league. He may not be playing regularly, but at least the semi final way uh, Real Madrid played with uh, Man City for Etihad, Gadola felt it was it was good enough to start. He started. He should start. Now, so they start some kind of important match. If it's not good, see, Gadola will be starting rubbish. If you know they're good, you know we we'll sign. That one I be your number one shola. I want to make people got to understand. They say, you see, this is Andrew Martinez. We wanted to buy him as a deputy. That deputy what he can't do. He know even they're good enough to do our first eleven. Would they buy him as deputy main can cover Kerry and Tierney or cover Gabriel Mogales if those people get injury? So if they don't get injury, Shola, the first people will enter. But you see this in Chenko, we want to put them on midfield because if you check down on midfield, Shaka cannot get competition. Shaka can't be like say if in the fit every day, every day go to play. And we check the statistics of Shaka and Zinchenko. Zinchenko is a better player when it comes to tackles, when it comes to passes, when it comes to completed passes. Every all round play, anything we want to talk about because I was looking at the statistics side by side yesterday. So you can't compare them. So now we don't bring a competition for Shaka because Shaka not very, very mobile. It's a static defensive midfielder. We don't put anything going forward. So we need somebody who's more mobile. Come on, if we talk about speed, Zinchenko is there. What's the top now? So that is why we brought him there. At the same time, it's versatile enough to even play Martinelli wing. It's versatile enough to even play Kerenci in the wing. But the major thing we have to promise and be said, he will play from midfield. I know, say, we need all the help you can get. So if you don't really understand that, let this comparison die. Like I talked yesterday, if Arsenal go register for the Netherlands League, for that Ajax League, we go win that league on beating too. Or every day we'll win that league. We didn't be now. So no, they use that one to join. Make the guy go join in at the end. See, is it necessary? Man, you go chop and they go collect any here because they never buy anybody with this spectacle. They buy Malaysia. They buy Frankie Gone never agree to go. <laughs> they can't buy Lisandro. Short man Lisandro. Never see anything. Um, I thought I said for the media setting, they're going to ask him about Gabriel Jesus. So I thought I can't say the guy did very, very sharp. After all, that's why we bought him. He just got three goals in the preseason. So the guy did enjoy in gameplay. So we are happy with him winning the play. Me, I did highly confident. See, this guy will hit the ground running. He will score plenty, plenty goals for us now. Just keep an eye on him. I said that I they talk about Bukayo Saka extension for Arsenal. So Baba Pato said that they work on the deal. You get see that they try all their best to make sure say both parties are happy. Because you know, since Saka said they interested in signing a contract extension because you don't see the people at that are bringing everywhere they go rosy. There's excitement in the camp. They have brought serial winners. You know, everybody just they happy shot. We the hope on so we'll go improve where we stopped last season, like we ended fifth. Now we can go and take the fourth or third or second position. We could do very hard though, but we'll try to do our next season. So we'll just watch as things they go. At the same time, because I think I can't talk about injuries. So Baba can talk say like Kerry and saying he gets slight problem, and Miss Mitro get muscular problem, and people like Tommy Yasu and White, they are injured but they will still get better. And I think Fabi Vera be wear one protective cast. Even though he talks say nothing done, nothing done, but the guy has not played yet. So that's why you know see all those players. And those when they complain, say hey, Thomas Party yeah, put down for the list, you know, they for the lineup. This one last last should be part of the play. They say you know they for training, you know, see a video, this and that. She be last last the guy play. Now enjoy how the guy did play. So now so you just be so if you know what yesterday show, check the top left corner of your screen, we'll see the thumbnail. Click up so that you get all Arsenal updates as they drop all over the world. So it's a tube signing out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.
Get Mouse after Sunday.